I got these shoes for hiking. I wanted something that I didn't have to remove when I crossed water. And although they get wet, they don't hold water. And I haven't had any trouble with blisters from them or anything like that. And they actually have a decent amount of cushioning. I haven't noticed any bruising on my feet. But I've been pretty happy with them. This is probably the third hike I've taken them on. Muddy. And this is why I got these. I thought with the tread pattern they have, uh, they'd be really slippery, but they're not bad. I think the new ones have a more aggressive tread pattern. But they won't last as long as if you wear them on pavement. But sometimes they can be a little slippery. I haven't fallen down yet, though. This is the tallest waterfall from Georgia to the Appalachians. This is in Arkansas. It's called Hemden Hollow.
I've got another pair of their Bear Access series, and I did take them for a hike, and uh, they didn't have quite enough cushioning, especially when you stepped on this part of your foot. Uh, these ones come up a little bit more, and I haven't had that problem with these. The other ones, of course, were not made for the trail, as these are. Another thing I really like about these is the zero millimeter drop. Especially going downhill so you're not jamming your heel into the ground for every step. I hope it's not just a fad with this type of shoe too. I hope they keep on making shoes like this. That the heel is the same height as the ball of the foot. Oh yeah, and this is the Buffalo River in Arkansas. The upper part of it. Normally it isn't flowing like this, but it's been raining a lot lately. Well, I'll probably be heading back. I heard thunder, and it looks like it's going to storm, and I'm going to go before a tree falls on me.